Hello all, welcome to Tech Capture. So in this video, we are going to deploy a simple web application on Amazon EC2 instance and also we are going to play with the security groups. So let me summarize what we are going to do in this video. So first we'll create our a simple EC2 instance with a default configuration. Then we'll SSH into that instance. We'll see if we need any inbound outbound rule to SSH into that instance. We'll create that rules in security groups. Then we'll deploy our simple Nginx web application on our EC2 instance. We'll try to access that web application from the internet and we'll play with the security groups. So we are going to cover all these things in this video. So here I'll be just deploying a simple web application to print uh, the basic stuff on my web page. If you are looking that I should create a more complicated application using the Nginx on EC2 instance. I'll create another video and I'll share the link in the description. But here we are just going with the basic stuff and creating the simple web application on Amazon EC2 instance. So now let me go to the Amazon Cloud Console and let's see how we can create our EC2 instance and start deploying our simple web application. Now I am on my Amazon Cloud Console and here you can see I have multiple recently visited sites so from here I'll go to EC2 if you are not showing EC2 on your main page you can simply search in the search bar at the top and you just start typing the EC2 and the EC2 fill page will be visible to you so simply you have to type EC2 and then you can go from here if you already used EC2 in your account then it will show in your recently used so currently there are zero EC2 instances running so I'll go to my EC2 instances and simply I'll create my EC2 instance with a default configuration so I'll click on launch console I'll give name as my web app okay so I'll use this Amazon Linux default because this is in the free tier you can see the free tier eligible so I don't want to make unnecessarily cost here for this demo so I'll just go with the free default configuration now instance type I'll keep the free tier as well so here I don't want any key pair I'll go with without key pair the network setting I'll use the default network okay and security group here you can see allow SSH traffic but here I will not go with this checkbox because I want to learn how security groups work so we can create the rules if you click on this checkbox it will do the stuff at the back end so I'll just disable this I'll click create security group now this security group will be created without any inbound rule okay and here you can see the name will be launch wizard hyphen 7 so I'll keep this in mind and I'll go and I'll launch a instance so it will take a couple of minutes to launch my EC2 instance okay this is launched let's see if it is in running state it is in running state so what I will do I'll just open my instance now you can see it is having public IP, it is having private IP. In security, you will see it is having the security group here. So you can see launch wizard 7 is the security group. So now what I will do, I'll just try to connect to this EC2 instance. It means I will try to SSH. I will use the simple method browser based terminal using EC2 instance connect. So I'll simply go and connect. So it will open new terminal in my browser but I believe it will throw an error because we do not have any inbound rule to allow traffic on port 22 so I just want to show you an error and how we can create a inbound rule in our security group to allow traffic on port 22 so mean the time it is loading and it will throw an error definitely so I'll just open a security group from here so here just click on this security group okay here we have inbound rules outbound rules so outbound you can see all traffic is allowed so any traffic can go out but in inbound rule we do not have anything so definitely it will throw an error I can see EC2 instance unable to connect ensure your instance network settings are configured correctly for EC2 instance connect so what I will do now in inbound rule I will create one new rule for SSH so it will allow traffic on port 22 and source will be anywhere so I'll keep from anywhere I can SSH into my EC2 instance I'll save this detail and let me go and try to connect again I'll go to EC2 again instance is running 
just open my instance and I'll try to connect using EC2 instance connect again so now this time it should connect and then we'll start installing our components our uh, Nginx application and we'll see how we can deploy our simple Nginx web application on our EC2 instance okay now we are logged in so now you understood we need an inbound rule to allow traffic on port 22 so let me just install the required things now I'll just do sudo yum install so I am using the Red Hat Linux if you are using Debian you can do app get install and I'll do nginx hyphen y so it will install nginx for me now I'll do sudo systemctl start nginx I'll run one more command to enable nginx okay I enabled nginx now let me check the status so I can check the status it should be running you can see this is running now I want to check on my external IP if I can see a default Nginx message that is a welcome to Nginx so let me go to the external IP so this is my external IP so you can directly open address but it will open HTTPS page I want HTTP so you can simply click on this and it will open HTTPS but we do not have any SSL certificate so we have to check on HTTP port okay it's timed out it is HTTPS so let me check for HTTP and again it will time out because we do not have any inbound rule to allow traffic on port 20 uh, not 22 here it would need port number 80 because Nginx by default runs on port number 80 so I'll go to my security group again and I will allow traffic on my port 80 okay, so I'll go to security group here I'll go to inbound rule edit inbound rule I will add one more rule now I will allow traffic on port HTTP that is by default 80 again from all the IP and I'll just save this now if I reload this page you will see welcome to Nginx it means our default Nginx page is displaying here now I don't want to display this default Nginx message instead I want to display my custom content so how I can do that so first we need to understand from where this content is coming welcome to Nginx so I'll show you that I'll just go to EC2 instance connect here and first I will show you this file because you can see the Nginx configuration file is nginx.conf so I'll just get this file or I'll just open this file I'll just type nano slash etc slash nginx slash nginx dot con okay now you can see all a configuration related to this nginx file configuration file and we'll see from where the content is coming now you can see the root a root is a user share nginx html so I'll go to this path okay so I'll just close this file I'll go to cd slash user share nginx html okay let me check now here we have index.html let me just check the index.html here and this is the content welcome to nginx now I don't want this content I'll just delete this and I want to put my custom html page here in my root so let's see how we can do that so I'll just go back and I'll just ask chat GPT about a custom HTML page okay so let me remove this I could have deleted the file but yeah so I'll just go here and I'll ask chat GPT simple index dot HTML for my home page with header welcome to okay. and chat GPT is very clever and it will provide me the simple HTML file which I can just replace in my Nginx 
default HTML file. Okay, I'll just copy this code now and I'll go back, I'll paste here. Okay, I think somehow I couldn't paste. Yeah, now it's pasted. Let me just save it. Okay, I think I had to remove first and just remove. Okay, I haven't used sudo. Now I'll create index.html and I'll paste my content here. I will save it. Okay, and now let me see if else I need to replace. I can see welcome to tech capture. Now this is where I have deployed my simple web application using Nginx. So hope you understood now how we can create our simple web application or web page on Amazon EC2 instance using Nginx. So that's it for this video and we'll see you further in a next video.